Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a sticker haul. I'm actually probably going to divide this into a couple parts. I am not getting as much happy mail nowadays, so I will probably film what I have right now and then go ahead and put it away because some of these kits I want to use pretty soon. Um, I think I have maybe three or four orders in right now and then when I get more mail in I will go ahead and film part two and then I'll put them together in one video. So stay tuned. Okay, so in this part one, I have an order from Harriet Wright Designs, Planting Roses, Avalon and Ninth, and Creating and Co. So let's start out with Harriet Wright Designs. This is my second order from her, and I picked these kits up when she was doing, it was like, um, I don't think it was a random kit poll, but it was back when she was kind of getting rid of some of the kits in her shop and these were discounted, I think maybe 25%. So I picked up this one right here. This is beautiful, it's just kind of like, um, it's called Good Morning, so it's kind of a chill kit for like a Sunday morning and it's got blacks and whites and just a touch of maybe a little bit of pink right here and gray, it's just a very neutral everyday kit I really like. I really like this box down here with the mug because, or I guess there's two boxes with the mug because Sunday mornings, that's definitely what I do. So you get nine full boxes. This page is all of your boxes and functional things. It might be kind of hard to see, but it's all sorts of shades of gray. And this box and this box are kind of like a super light pink. So you have a ton of half boxes. You have some quarter boxes, a three heart checklist or three bow checklist and then you have some scallop labels and some sidebar items and this is the third page of this kit you have a couple habit trackers some bill dues some little things and your word headers this kit is not foiled she has foiled and not foiled kits in her shop this page of the kit I really like it has some like longer flags up here that you could do for like a washi banner for like the weekend or you could do it sideways and layer an icon over it. There's a couple flags, some checklists, some icons. Here are some layering pieces over here. There's like a hexagon and some circles, your weekend banner, and then you get a full set of day covers. And then this last page is your bottom washi. The bottom washi is kind of like a wood grain on top and then a light, light pink. And then you have some more layering items over here and some bows. There's a little bit of cut washi here and then there are, it looks like three, four, five, six, seven bow headers right there. And then this also came with it, just um, a set of glitter headers to go with it. And then the second kit I picked up is foiled and this is a fall kit that I definitely plan on using. So it's kind of why I needed to haul this soon so I could get ready to use it. It is now September 1st so bring on the fall kits. I will be doing fall kits for all of September and then October will be all Halloween kits and then November will also be almost all um, fall kits. So this one comes with the glitter headers. Well they're not glitter headers, they're bow headers and it's like a gold foil. It's beautiful. And this one is called Pumpkin Season. I think this is a kit from last year. Actually, I know this is a kit from last year, but it is beautiful. It's very, it's like pastel. The quote says, autumn leaves and pumpkin please, and there is foil on every box. It is beautiful. I love this box down here with like the coffee mug and the books. This one has a foil pumpkin in it. This is just a really pretty fall kit I'm excited to use. And here is your sheet with all of your boxes. I love that there's this foil bow down here in your weekly tracker. And then this one is her header sheet again. I don't know how well this is picking up. There's no foil on this sheet, but um, all of your little things and headers. This one is beautiful with the foil. The date covers have the gold foil. Your weekend banner is foiled, and then all of your laying icons have spots of foil throughout. It's absolutely beautiful. I really like on this 
um, flag right here, this swish that she put on it. And then the bottom washi. Wow. Look at that. You know, I'm not a huge foil person. However, I do like using the kits with them. They are beautiful. I just don't like using them every week. So I like throwing them in sporadically throughout. So that is my order from Harriet Wright Designs. Two kits from her shop. She is overseas, so it does take a little bit longer to get your order because it's coming so far. But she's awesome, and the paper is super smooth. It's definitely more of a unicorn paper. So that is my order from Harriet Wright Designs. Next order up is from Planning Roses. This is the dashboard that came with the order. It has gold foil on it, which is a pretty swan and a little atrium type deal. And then this is my order. I do currently PR for her. The term is almost up, but if you see this before the end of September, you can use my code. My code is Danielle15 for 15% 15 off. And this is my freebie that comes with the order. It is in gold foil. It is beautiful. And then into my order, I picked up a few of her icons. I picked up this computer icon in gold. I'm going to use these for like editing my videos. I picked up this shopping bag in rose gold. And these are all on clear paper. I picked up this sleeping mask in rose gold. It's so pretty. I picked up a hair dryer bow icon in rose gold. My girls like getting their hair blow dried, so that's a new thing lately. I got the spray bottle bow icon for cleaning in rose gold. And then I also picked up the book bow icon in rose gold. Super pretty. And then I picked up two kits. She just came out with her like fall and Halloween releases. I thought this one was super so stunning. It is so different. It's more of a watercolor feel than a lot of kits you'll see out there. So here are your full boxes. It's got yellow and orange. It's a very fall themed kit. It's called Cardigan. It is absolutely beautiful. And then your bottom washi sheet has all your glitter headers and your bottom washi and there's two strips there's a thicker strip and then a thinner strip and then a couple scripts on the side your third sheet has all of your checklist flags there's some regular flags your date covers a couple quarter boxes at the bottom and icons and scripts and then the fourth sheet is all of your boxes. Lots of half boxes. I think there's nine of them. And then you get to nine quarter boxes. And here is some sidebar, your weekly tracker, a checklist, habit tracker, build deal. And these are some individual check boxes at the bottom. And then, so that is her fall kit that I picked up. And this is the Halloween kit that I picked up. And I thought this was so pretty and simple. The orange and the black. I just loved how simple and beautiful it was. So you have nine full boxes. I really like this middle one. It says, you say witch like it's a bad thing. And then you have a couple, like this one's like a pattern box with bats. This um, is uh, a welcome mat that says trick or treat. And there's the witch's brew mug with the little witch hat on it. It's just a very pretty simple kit. And I really like the black and white stripes up here. Your bottom washi has the smaller bow washi and then it has the thicker and this one is like an orange and black plaid with your glitter headers. And then your functional sheet with your date covers and then all of your boxes. Lots of different options that you can use. There's a couple pattern boxes and just some blank ones. So that is my order from Planning Roses. You can use my code to get 15% off. Jenna is awesome. Jenna is coming out with a planner at the end of this year. So if you're in the market, I think it's in October or November that she's coming out with a planner. Definitely go check her out for there. Next order up is from Avalon and Ninth. I believe I picked this stuff up 
right after the last TPC sale. So I didn't get it during the TPC sale, but I bought it right afterwards. She is in the next TPC sale, and this freebie came with the order, and it does say right up here, the next TPC sale is September 10th through the 14th. So not this weekend, but the following weekend. Small little order, I picked up some of these are her new habit trackers. These are kind of like a horizontal habit tracker. These fit perfectly in her Avalon and Ninth Weeks planner. It's just fits right along the top perfectly where you have your habit here and it goes long ways instead of being shorter. So I picked up a sheet of these and then I picked up two sheets of her mini sticky notes. I love her sticky notes, but sometimes in my smaller planners, they're a tad too big for what I want to use it for. So I picked up her mini ones, and this is like the pastel colorway and the bold colorway. And these are perfect for that. And then I picked up this full kit. So this is one of her newer kits. Um, it's called Game Night. We are a fairly big gaming family. We have, you know, the Wii and we have an Xbox and the girls play games, tons of board games and we have computer games and... They really like Mario and Zelda and board games and Monopoly and Candyland and all that fun stuff. So this kit was perfect and I love the colors in it. Um, so these are your full boxes. I love right in here that it says game night and then there are some like board games on the shelf. Monopoly and Candyland and there's some Legos. This is a very fun family kit that we definitely do a lot of. Your bottom washi has scrabble tiles in it which is awesome and then the cut washi is kind of like a game board which is pretty cool. And then this is the functional sheet with all of your sidebar and your three checklists and it looks like the checklist is like a little Pac-Man character which is pretty cool. And then here is your sheet with all of your boxes, your half boxes, and your third boxes that are lined and not lined. And this is probably my favorite sheet. I love all the different variety of small boxes. You get your glitter header, or you get your sticky notes down here, and then you have eight of these like single check boxes, some stitched quarter boxes, some appointment boxes, and then her scalloped doodle boxes, which I love. The colors are super fun in this too. This sheet is a grid sheet for the most part. So you have some half boxes and some third boxes and some full boxes that all have grid lines on them and then you have three boxes that have lines in them and then three empty boxes. This sheet is all of your scripts, your deco, there's two weekend banners so you can stretch it over the course of two weeks and then your icons down here. And then the last sheet is your date covers and your glitter headers. You get two sets of date covers. So again, this kit will st stretch super well over two spreads or two different planners. So that is my order from Avalon and Ninth. I do have a code for her shop. Dandy25 will get you 25% off. Definitely love my order. I'm super excited. Amanda over there is one of my favorite people in shop. She is awesome. She has great stickers, so definitely go check her out. So last but not least for part one of my haul, I placed two separate orders at Creating & Co because these washi came out at different times. So I got one weekend, I got her Halloween washi, and then the next weekend she came out with her fall washi. So I have two different orders. So let's open up this one first. I got the same journaling card, which I love because these are so fun to put like in like ring planners and just like pop them right in or you could even paste them in or tape them in. So this is the journaling card that came with it. This is kind of an ode to her upcoming readathon in October. Um, the last one just ended last week, and this one is her Read in Peace right, Readathon, which is my favorite one of the year. So this is the washi, her Halloween washi that I just got. So this one is has like a lavender background, and is her famous bookshelf washi. And this one has bats in there, and the colors on the books are like a green, a purple, an orange. There are some bats flying out of books here, which is super cool. You also get this uh, maybe a seven millimeter washi that comes with it that has like 
books, floating books in the background. I really, really love the colors in this Halloween washi. Add to my bookshelf washi collection, it is some of my favorite washi, so. And then it looks like it also came with this little ghost die cut which fell out. That's super cute and he's reading a book. And then my second order, I placed about a week later and this was her coming out with her fall washi. And I got the same journaling card, super cute. So then I also picked up a reading challenge, which I'll show you in a second. But this is the fall washi that she came out with. I don't know if she has anything left in her shop, but this one has kind of a gold, like a bronzy gold foil on it. I don't know if you can see that. I think you can. But like right there, there's like vines. But in this bookshelf, there's like a dark red, burgundy. Here, let me bring it closer. Hopefully this will focus. But um, there's like a... Um, a burgundy and then a blue and there's this like taupey color it's very fall colorish and then there's the foil super pretty there's some pumpkins in between the bookshelf and then the washi the smaller washi you get has gold foil with the floating books and it's like this deep orange and then I also picked up so she has um, seasonal reading challenges and this one is for Ava. Ava's going into second grade and she's a big reader. So I picked this one up for her. So with the reading challenge, what you get is you get this full sheet right here. And it has all your prompts right here for your kids. There's space to write down the book that they read that covers each prompt. We actually pin this in our kitchen and then we pin this next to it with like a tack. So this is where you put all of your books. So when you, let me spread this out here. So on this first prompt right here, it says um, back to school is the prompt. So any book that would fit like back to school, going back to school related, anything like that would be prompt one. So then when she reads that book, she would write it in and then she would be able to grab one of these stickers that fits prompt number one. So it looks like this one has four lines up top and four lines up bottom so then you go over here and find which one would fit and it looks like this one and this one would fit so she then she could choose which one she wanted to put there and then she would put the sticker over the one to signify that she did prompt number one so this is her fall reading challenge she has an elementary kid one she has a middle school one she has an adult one with different prompts for different age groups so definitely fun for her to do I still have to get mine because I don't have mine, I haven't ordered mine yet. So that's in my next order. So that is two of my orders that came in from Creating & Co, the Halloween washi, the fall washi, and the reading challenge. I do have a code to her shop. It is Danielle10 for 10% off. She has a lot of fun things coming. She has a 12 days advent coming up for Christmas time and a lot of other fun things so definitely check into her shop and she does readathons every two months if you're a reader so this is my order from creating and co so this is part two of this haul i decided to go ahead and cut it off when these orders came in because i have a few more coming but they're going to take a second to get here and i wanted to go ahead and get this film edited and uploaded for y'all so today we have the mystery kit from caress press we have an order from the Coffee Monsters Co. and then we have paper and milk. So this came in like two days ago. Um, shipping time was super quick, so it did not take long to get here. So this is the freebie that came with the order. I love her little character. It's like a little, almost like a little marshmallow guy. So then in my order, I got Sleep In, which, hmm hasn't really been happening lately. It's more of a weekend thing that just doesn't happen right now. And then I got these little baking icons. I love this one right here. This big old bag of flour. It's a big bag of flour and then there's some eggs and the characters itty bitty next to it. And then I got these like geotag ones. I don't really know exactly, I don't have like a use for these, but I, I got them just in thinking that like if we go somewhere or we're traveling um, and I don't have anything, like any sticker to match it, I can use this as the icon. And I got these cleaning ones. This is more scheduled nowadays, which is awesome. You have the vacuum and the trash. And this one is a little spray bottle. 
this one I was eyeballing for a while but this is a hiking sticker we probably won't be doing very much more hiking this year um, just because fall's coming and it tends to get colder but we'll probably do a, still a few more this little guy is holding a water bottle there's some mountains and a backpack and then they repeat this one was super cute this is like a s'mores one we went camping maybe four or five times this year but i think we actually only did s'mores maybe three times so hopefully this fall we can get some more s'more time in there's this cute sheet this is like a bath time one um now that school is in we have this scheduled into our schedule now just because we need to make sure that it gets done and then of course i had to get the sock one which is amazing i love this cute little soccer goal right here and then there's a little character playing soccer and some bigger balls with the tiny little character and then last but not least is this reading sheet whenever i find reading stickers i always tend to pick them up just because i'm such a big reader but this little guy's got his glasses on and he's reading the book there very cute so that is my order from paper and milk definitely go check her out next order up is this order from the coffee monsters co i have been placing less orders with helen lately just because i have um gone a little crazy the past couple months with her shop i think i found her shop back in march and i think i've placed probably 10 to 15 orders so I have slowed down some and I tend to just pick up things when she has releases. She's coming out with an advent calendar coming up here, so very excited about that. So then in my order I got this cute little vinyl decal and it is like the emoji under the umbrella, super cute. I'm not really quite sure, I think it's just a die cut, I don't think it's a sticker. And this is the freebie for August. I actually placed this order during her, I think it was her birthday sale or her anniversary sale, whichever one was last month, and then this just came in like yesterday. There's some little emojis eating a meal, this one says unbearable, and then currently listening to. I picked up a few Halloween and fall ones and then some random ones, but this one is the Halloween mug doodles. This one right here is my favorite, it's Jack and Sally. This one's pretty cute too though, it's like a bat cup. So got that one, this one is just really funny to me, it's hormonal emojis. The Hulk one is me during that time of the month because cramps are pretty bad. But this one is just him crying, this one's like holding like a hot pack onto the stomach which is me sometimes too. And this one's just crying because sometimes you just gotta cry. I got the iced coffee ones. I went crazy with cold brews this past summer. And even though cold brew season is kind of over, I still wanted to pick this one up. Iced coffee is awesome. The vacuuming emojis. Willow is now 9 or 10 months old and she has been shutting like crazy. So I find myself vacuuming a lot more. So I figured I would just pick these up to mark pretty much how often I vacuum now. At the a virtual lecture emojis, my girls are in school face to face four days a week, but they do go to school at home on Fridays and have live meetings, so these are perfect for that. I picked up the autumn mug doodles. Fall is my absolute favorite season, so I had to pick up some of these to mark, you know, my early morning coffee when it's nice and cold outside and I'm in my hoodie definitely use these again this one is kind of more summer related but i still wanted to pick it up these are the iced tea emojis my favorite drink right now is an arnold palmer with sweet tea from chick-fil-a so this is why that's, the, that's what inspired this purchasing this sticker and then i picked up these super cute halloween tv doodles i don't know i think you can see in there but this one is Hocus Pocus, you got Nightmare Before Christmas, you have, I think, that's the Addams Family, yeah. Um, this one's a vampire, so that could be for a lot of different ones. This one is like Freddy Krueger, this one's a Headless Horseman, 
Um, this is like uh, Charlie Brown Halloween or Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin. Got Beetlejuice. I don't really know what that one is. You got Coraline and Ghostbusters and looks like another, it looks like, I don't know what that is. It looks like a doghouse, kind of like Snoopy's doghouse. And then maybe this one's for Halloween Town. And then just a regular pumpkin, Corpse Bride, and Scooby-Doo. So Halloween movies are awesome. I definitely like these to mark that. And then the Halloween Emojis Sampler. I just thought this was super fun just to be able to mark anything Halloween related. All different sorts of costumes. Who knows what my girls are going to want to be this year. Last year one of them was a witch. One of them was Hulk one year. So who really knows. Oh, one of them was Wonder Woman too. So, And then last sheet I picked up was this sweater weather emoji. I love this one right here. It's like with a jacket on and like a turtleneck and then the coffee and this one's playing in the leaves and this one's with a scarf. It's just a super fun sheet and then I didn't show this in the beginning but this is the journaling card that came with my order. Cherish every day. I love all the detail. There's like a sandwich and strawberries and sugar. At least I think that's sugar. Maybe yogurt. And then mine was signed by Mama Tater. Oh, it was for her birthday sale. So that is my quick order from Coffee Monsters Co. Definitely go check out Helen. Again, her advent calendar. By the time this goes up, it might already be on pre-sale, but it is coming up soon. So go check out her Facebook group. Okay, last but not least, this is the September Mystery Kit from Crest Press. If you don't want to be spoiled, click away now. The video, for the most part, is over. This is the last shop that I'm going to be sharing. But if you do want to see, this is the beautiful September Mystery from Crest Press. Definitely my favorite so far. I, th I think I've been subscribed since... April maybe and this is by far my favorite so far the colors are stunning and I get the essentials kit so there um, this is the format for the essentials she does have a mini one and an ultimate one and maybe one other format but this is the essentials so full boxes these are the beautiful full boxes how stunning this is I love the orange and all the pumpkins. The green is really pretty with this like pop of light blue in the truck. All the browns. I typically am not a huge brown person, but this is perfect. And then right down here, this is a popcorn bar. That's super fun. I love the full boxes in this. So I'm going to put this at the back and this at the back towards the end. So the next sheet, this is like a functional sheet. You have your checklist, all of your beautiful deco, your circle icons, regular icons, and then ginormous flags. I don't typically use these just because I don't know how I would use them, but they're fun in the kit. And then I put this towards the end. Here is the bottom washi. It is a pretty simple bottom washi, just kind of like some green and brown paint strokes. Your day covers, this is an extra full box. It's like an orange pumpkin shake, iced coffee, who knows. And then you have your date numbers up top. This is kind of all of your sidebar items. You have two weekly trackers, an ombre. You have three habit trackers, which is awesome. You have this little Monday through Sunday sticker here, some work labels, some class labels, and then a few other functional items. This one has all of your glitter headers, four sets, and then you also have some cut washi down here. I really am starting to like these kind of like half, half boxes. And then I think this is just maybe some more cut washi. Yeah, that's a couple more pieces of cut washi up there. This one is a box sheet. You get squared off half boxes, squared off third boxes, some rounded quarter boxes, and some quarter labels there some bill do and some word headers at the top and then my essentials kit that I get actually comes with a second sheet of boxes I tend to use a lot of these so that's why I like this layout you get some rounded half boxes squared off third boxes and half boxes um, 
some quarter boxes, some quarter box appointment labels, and then some skinnier ones, which are more like eighth boxes. And then this is your fashion girl sheet. And then you also get an additional full box over here, just like some pumpkins. This is really fun. These are like, I think they're donuts hanging from a tree, maybe that she's trying to eat. That's really fun. And then you get two strips of 15 millimeter washi to add in with the other green and brown paint stroke washi if you would like. Plus there are some additional boxes on these. And then it comes with foil. So this is kind of like an orange foil. You get two strips of 15 millimeter washi to put over the top. This one right here has um, like leaves in it, which is super pretty. And then you get some scripts over here. There are some corner foil and then some round foil pieces that you can use like if you have rings to wear around your rings or you can use it just as like an addition to some deco. Oh, also right here you have two header overlays that are leaves. And then the second foil sheet is also this like orangey copper. You have four full box overlays and these are all header overlays. It looks like you get 21. And this is a full box overlay with a quote that says pumpkin kisses harvest wishes. So that is everything that comes in the essentials mystery kit from Caress Press. Definitely my favorite. Definitely go check her out. I think spots are opening pretty soon if you're interested. And that is my order from Crest Press. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I will most definitely be having a, another haul coming up soon. I went a little crazy with Labor Day sales, so stay tuned in the next couple weeks. Those orders should be rolling in pretty soon. Hope you all have an awesome day, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!